Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Mark and today I'm going to show you how to make a load sheet with Boeing OPT software. For the sake of exercise, I have selected a real world flight from Glasgow to Prague, as you can see on JPFD screen right here. Let's check out the operational flight plan for the flight. It is going to be with 737-700 registration CRS Key Tango. For the sake of weight and balance, let's check out our estimated weights. Zero fuel weight is going to be 43.9er, takeoff weight 51.2, and landing weight 46.4 tons. Let's keep those numbers in mind and let's investigate our performance limits from the two airports. For that, we're going to need Boeing OPT. So it's 700, Service Kitango. It's Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot. Runway 05, condition wet, wind 0, OAT 10, QNH is currently 1032 hectopascals. 20k for full takeoff thrust and improved climb on. Let's leave takeoff weight blank to get maximum allowed takeoff weight. On the lower left corner, you can see it's 64.2 tons which is way more than we would need for this particular flight. Let's calculate landing dispatch as well. We are going to Prague, runway 24 most likely, 2.5% gradient, dry, wind 0, OAT 4 degrees, QNH 1030. That's pretty much it. Let's press calculate. And as we would expect, 58 tons as our maximum certified landing weight is achieved. Why did we calculate this? Well, we have found out our performance limits, which are then going to be used for underload calculation for our future load sheet. Let's go to weight and balance. And this is the setup page. It is quite set up in the way that we would need. However, there is a certain discrepancy from the OFP. I remember the dry operating weight should have read 39,600 kilograms, which is not correct. And I can check that pantry code is going to be CS1. So we've got here buy on board. So let's change that. If you don't know what any of the field or selections means there is an info button right here which will tell you what each and every selection means in plain language. Now our dry operating weight and index is in line with what we saw in OFP. So let's go to passengers. It was a charter flight, all male flight with 45 passengers. According to our loading instructions, we've got information about passenger distribution through cabin and we can see it's like this. We have matched the total number of uh, passengers with totals, meaning uh, the sum of all passengers in the cabin sections. Uh, if we put, for example, two infants we can see the total number of passengers has increased. However, it is not important for cabin sections because infants are assumed to be zero. So zero weight and zero index influence. So what to take from this? Infants are not to be inserted uh, into the cabin sections. Now cargo it is going to be the total amount of weight per each compartment. Let's assume it's 1000 kilograms in compartment three. Fuel, for that, we would have to check our OFP. The minimum fuel is going to be 7.7 7 tons. Whether it's going to be fair, so let's just round it up to eight tons. Trip fuel 4,777 and taxi fuel 400. It's 
sufficient to use the total load field and the fuel is then automatically distributed through each tank according to fuel full fuel fill curve now plant fuel 4700 and something and 400 kilograms as a taxi fuel now we can see our weights for the final load sheet and on the right hand corner of the screen we can see the envelope for the flight we can see that we are absolutely within limits so uh, let's produce a load sheet for that we have to go to take off dispatch now you see that takeoff weight has been filled with what was calculated in the load sheet together with uh, CG position now press calculate And these are our results for the takeoff. To get the load sheet, press send output. And you have here two choices either only print the load sheet or send load sheet via email. Let's stick with the print load sheet option. Press done. Input the flight number, which was Tango Hector Sierra 4383. Flight crew count two, cabin crew three, and captain, let's make the first one the captain of our flight. And input the password, which is easy in this case, and done. This is the preview of the printed load sheet. Uh, if it's not enough, of course, and you want to save it or share it, uh, tap two fingers on the miniature or, or the preview of the load sheet and make a zoom in motion and it will then uh, become a bigger file, bigger preview and uh, you can share it uh, with other apps in the upper right corner you have the share button so let's select the app you want to open it in I prefer Adobe Acrobat And this is it. This is our final load sheet. Note here that our underload figure has been calculated with our maximum zero fuel weight. And if you remember, this is our maximum takeoff weight, uh, which is allowed in the prevailing conditions at Glasgow. So this is it, this is the load sheet with OPT.